annihilation of the life form known as man. Let the attack begin again. What's good, YouTube? Rayquaza2094 here with the battle against Pamazard. Um, so yeah, she was using some stuff. Uh, this was mostly so she could get a battle that she could record, because she kept trying, and people kept DCing on random Wi-Fi, so she's like, hey, do you want to battle? I'm like, sure, I got some stuff that I haven't tested yet. So I lead off with Get Geico, and she leads off with Iro, And I just go for that Volt Switch, expecting her to switch out, but she stays in. Maybe she thought... I'd overpredict or something, who knows. Um, and yeah, Get Geico's gonna go ahead and switch out and go into Freepy Cuck. Um, cause you know, Zatu is Freepy Cuck. And yeah, I get hit by Shadow Ball, but thanks to my special defense investment, I do survive. And I thought she was gonna go for a sub, so I went for the Nightshade, but no, that's not the case. She did not go for a sub, so pretty much Freepy Cuck is, yeah, going down without doing much of anything, so that kind of sucks. Uh, so I decided to put in my Gigalith named Ark, who is shiny, and uh, mostly because I know I'll survive thanks to Sturdy, and I can fire off a choice banded rock slide. And you know, I was kind of hoping that 90% um, accuracy was not designed to screw me today, because it did yesterday. And it didn't, so yeah, I managed to take out the Gengar, which is fantastic. And I get revenge killed by the Yanmega, which is really, eh, not a big deal. Yanmega, I can take a few hit. Some of my Pokemon can take a few hits, so it's good. Uh, so I put in Get Geico and Get Giga Drain because she forgot that um, there was the whole type switching over from generations, um, from Gen 4 to Gen 5, so she forgot that now it has a fire typing. So I just fire an overheat and then I switch out Get Geico because I'm like I'm going to need him later. And I put in Carbuncle because I know that Carbuncle should be able to take a few hits because it is defense invested. So I fire off a lead seed and right here I actually forgot that she had the ice punch because I made most of the Pokemon if not all of them. And yeah I forgot she had that ice punch so that was bad. Um, but, you know, I go ahead and stay in, because I'm like, eh, I don't really want to lose anything else. Um, so I go for the Giga Drain to get more health, and she goes for another Ice Punch. And, unfortunately, um, I'm just, yeah, between the Recovery, the Leech Seed, and the Giga Drain, I'm not going to be able to get enough to go ahead and survive another Ice Punch. So that is, you know, quite sad. Uh, quite sad indeed. And I get ice punched again. And yeah, you know, um, ah, sorry, mistaken. I do survive an ice punch, but you know, it's not looking good for me overall. Um, just kind of, you know, barely surviving with Carbuncle. Go figure, get drain, and that is going to nicely drain that Machamp's health. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, she's going to send in her Alakazam, and at this point, I don't have enough HP to survive a Shadow Ball, so yeah, that's kind of bad. I lose Carbuncle, and I'm like, well, I have a choice to do this, and once again, she forgot that um, there's not the ghost typing, so I go for the trick uh, to give her a choice specs, and so I can get a Life Orb, so I can lock her into the Shadow Ball, but, you know, it is unfortunately going to be bad because um, Choice Specs Alakazam was quite bad because it already has high special attack. So the fact that it has higher special attack is not good. So I was fearing my Sharpedo actually surviving, uh, but I do, which is great, and fire off a Crunch, which is going to be enough to KO Alakazam because Alakazam has glass defense. Um, so yeah, that was a very risky move on my part. Turned out to pay off nicely though. And she is going to send in her Verizion named Zelda, and I go for the Earthquake, because I really don't have anything that can super effective hit this thing, and really, I, in hindsight, I probably should have gone for wa Waterfall. In fact, I'm not sure why I didn't, but yeah. So I decided to put in Guile, and mostly because 
He's a sub punch conkolder, and I knew she'd probably go for the sword stance. So I could get up a free sub, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, this focus punch is easily going to be enough to KO um, this Zelda right here. So yeah, way to go, Guile. So I just slam with that focus punch. And yeah, that is going to be a dead Verizion, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, very tough match this time around. Um, risky play with Alakazam for sure, but it turned out to pay off. So yeah, go like, comment, and subscribe to my friend Pam's channel. Her name's Pam Azard. Um, as you know, I'll leave a link in the description. Because uh, she's a good battler, and I make teams for her now. So, you know, she is getting teams made by me. So, you know, that's actually kind of fantastic because... Uh, that means that, you know, I get somewhat publicity. But yeah, she she's good. She's a good battler. You guys might want to try and battle her because, you know, she's, like I said, a good battler. Um, but yeah, I'm ranting. No big deal. But that is going to be all. Comment, like, and subscribe to me. And go do the same thing to Pamazard. And check out some of her videos because they're pretty awesome. And there's still PBR going on over there. So yeah, have a nice day. See ya.